Well, I usually start my video going into the campsite with my Jeep and my trailer. However, this time I thought it was better just to start with the kayak. I'm on the Rock Castle River in Kentucky. Although very calm and tranquil right now, it did take a little travel before I set up my camper on the shore. I entered Kentucky through Tennessee on I-75 North. Near Corbin, I took 192 West to Pulaski County, where I found a cute little campground just over a bridge. It's the Bee Rock Campground of the Daniel Boone National Forest. And I found a campsite right by the river. Well, I'm all settled, it's a nice day, and it's trail time. I came to Bee Rock Loop Trail 529. It sounded like my lucky number. A few fallen tulip tree flowers scattered the trail. Well, it seems a little dry here, but now that I'm in the area, I'm sure it's gonna rain. This large but very cute millipede shuffled across the trail. Pretty soon it switched from a trail amongst the trees to one beside the rocks. and then to a trail inside the rocks.
Well, that last part kind of takes your breath away. <sighs> but when you get to this lookout, it's going to take your breath away again. Have a look. What a spectacular panoramic. Two thumbs up for Kentucky. Upon returning to the campsite, the sun appeared and the temperature rose. This big click beetle landed on me, trying to scare me with its fake eyes. Didn't work, so off he went. Well, it's definitely getting hot, especially in the trailer. I think the river will be a lot cooler. While many of the rivers in this area are brown, this one was turquoise, probably due to the silt. Whatever the reason, it made for a stunning kayak paddle. As I ventured further downstream, I came across a noisy group from Canada. They didn't seem very happy to see me, and quickly left their perch. At the same time, a bald eagle appeared. He just caught a fish dinner and liked his sushi served on wood. With his meal break over, off he went. At least the Canada geese seemed happy now.
I just saw a bald eagle fly down and scoop out a fish from the water. I would have loved to capture it on film, but it was too quick. And fortunately, to get shots like that, I have to use my camcorder. And by the time I've opened it up and focused it, and I'm still having to manipulate the kayak, it was almost impossible to even try it. <laughs> At least I got a shot of him eating his kill in the, in the tree. Oh, I got a rock. Gotta be careful. Bang! I got a, quite a few uh, scrapes in the bottom of my kayak. But I don't have a hole in it yet. And I hope it stays that way. Oh, look at this rock. It's like a big, massive fingerprint. And there's part of the escarpment I hiked to earlier today. A tree blossom quickly passed by. Although once a train trestle, this bridge is now for walking to the other section of the park. I love doing that. It's supposed to rain today. I think I hear thunder in the distance. So I guess I better head back, and seek shelter. Well, I was just about to start lunch, and the rain started as well. Ooh, and lightning. And thunder. Oh boy, well I knew it was coming. At least I had a shower before the shower. I'm gonna eat inside. Oh. That's really coming down. Made it just in time. windy ever since I got here. Well, rainy days are a good day to stay inside the trailer and edit. And I got a lot of editing to do because I've done a lot of footage. But before I left on this trip, I did something that was absolutely insane. No rational person would do as something as silly as I did. But what I did is just the day before I left, I traded my PC laptop for a Mac. I mean, it's a great a MacBook Pro, 
beautiful, uh, nice, solid laptop, but oh my God, what a learning curve. I've never used a Mac before, 30 years using a PC, and I'm just plunging right into it. No training, nothing. And of course, when I'm out here, I don't even have enough signal to, you know, look at some training videos. So I'm learning the hard way. And I also did something even more insane, and that is I replaced my editing software. I was using PowerDirector with Final Cut Pro. So everything is new to me here. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to make my videos a little better, a little bit more professional, but it's been frustrating. I crash it a lot. And by the way, yeah, don't let anybody say you can't crash a Mac because I certainly can. And I've even corrupted my drive. It'll, it'll only read only now. I don't know what I did. Ah, the challenges I face. I mean, it's bad enough to go out there and, you know, hang off cliffs, but to, tr to try to wrestle with technology, that is my biggest challenge by a long shot for sure. Anyway. One morning. Hopefully this is going to work out. It's just mirror calm. I wish I was calm. I'm not. Well, tonight is pizza night. One of my favorite nights. And uh, no, I'm not going to make it from scratch. Well, it's half scratch, I guess. Because I go into my cooler. And I have, I think this is about $3 a Totino's party pizza party well, I don't really want a party but I do want something to eat um, these are frozen but they last in my cooler for like a week as long as I don't open it but my plan is to take my cast iron pan here put the pizza in there add my toppings and then use my really good frying pan over top, sort of like a Dutch oven. That's my plan. But along with the tomatoes and the, uh, the broccoli I already have cut here, I have a little can of sliced black olives. Because I like black olives. But I need a can opener. Oh, I don't know if I've ever showed this before. This is by Starfrit. It's called a little beaver. Don't know why it's called a little beaver, but it's a cool name. Uh, neat thing about this is it works on the side, left-handed or right, it doesn't seem to matter. And uh, it actually cuts the lid right off. See, like that. And uh, it's a little bit less messy. That over here, and that gives me my black olives. So, now that I got that, so these are really handy. And if you travel a lot, everybody needs a little beaver every once in a while, right? Here it is. Keep my little beaver up there. Okay, I don't think my pizza idea worked very well. I think at one side it's a little burnt. Um, but I think I s at least steamed the broccoli a little bit. But, you know, hey, it's a $3 frozen pizza. I really can't expect much. It's a little tough. <laughs> I, it's, I can't pick it up. It kind of crumbled on me. So yeah, I got to use my fork. Not very successful at it. Okay, here it goes. What's the $3 Dutch fried or Dutch oven pizza taste like? I'll eat it.
Okay, it's time for my personal assessment as what do I think about Bee Rock Campground in Daniel Boone National Forest, Kentucky. I liked it. Uh, it's right on a river. It's the Rock Castle River and there's camping on both sides and a bridge that goes across, which is very convenient. Uh, the river is perfect for kayaks or small boats. Um, there's swimming holes. A lot of kids were swimming even though it's only early May. And there is so much wilderness around here. There's hills, there's lots of hikes. You can go right up on the edge of a cliff and look out, there's like panoramic views. Most sites have water, um, just a, a hand pump, which is good enough. And there are vault toilets around. Uh, there's one right there and there's another one there and there's another one on the other side. Uh, there are not showers, of course. There are not plug-ins, but the sites are well kept. There's enough room. That's mine right there. And uh, I really, really like it. I found a place where I could have solar. There is a little bit of an opening. Most of them are heavily treed. So yeah, if you have solar, you've got to pick and choose. But the price, it was $15 a night, cash in an envelope. However, if you have some kind of like a senior pass or a park pass, chances are you'll get it for half price. I couldn't, but I was okay with $15 a night and there was no additional fees. I really like that. I would recommend it. It's a little farther from the highway. It probably takes you about 45 minutes to come off I-75, but it's natural. It's beautiful and it gets my two thumbs up. Well, it was a great place to camp, but soon I was off to see what other places were waiting for me to explore. But I'll close where I began in the turquoise waters of the Rock Castle River. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my others as well. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.